joined by Asia Times online correspondent Pepe Escobar. He's in London at the moment. Pepe, we've just heard from the US saying that Israel is justified over its concerns over the Hezbollah threat. So what Israel has done in self-defense is right, isn't it? Look, uh, let's recapitulate. First of all, this is an act of war, an unprovoked act of war and a provocation at the same time. Why happening now? Starts with Chuck Hagel's head of the Pentagon tour of the Middle East and Israel a few days ago. Remember that Chuck Hagel was against arming the rebels in Syria. Then he changed his mind. He said that the rebels actually used chemical weapons in Syria with no evidence. At the same time, the rebels start losing ground inside Syria. The Syrian army has been making advances in the Hama Homs corridor these past few weeks. And at the same time, we also know that all these divergent strands of the Free Syrian Army, they're basically the ones that really fighting on the ground, they are jihadis. Obama cannot arm jihadis in Syria, period. So what is his fallback plan? A kind of mini shock and awe. But will the U.S. Uh, start a shock and awe in Syria? No, it's by proxy, it's via Israel. And this is exactly what Hegel and the Israelis were discussing only a few days ago. So and you're saying that Israel now, has gone ahead. Public you're opinion. So you're saying that. Israel has gone ahead with this with U.S. blessing. It didn't act alone. But of course, look, if anybody believes that anything Israel does in the Middle East, it does not console the Americans later, you know, go back to play in the garden, go back to kindergarten. It doesn't work like this in the real world. They did it because they were concerted with the Obama administration, which is in a bind at the moment. They cannot intervene directly in Syria. They know that the support for the so-called rebels, all the different strands of the rebels is going nowhere because they're like the retreat instead of uh, advancing. So Israel, with this provocation, they're waiting for a response, either from Syria, either from Hezbollah, or better yet, from the point of view of the Obama administration and Israel, from Iran. So if Iran and Syria don't do anything for the moment, they just wait, it will, this will be seen as it is, just a provocation. But if there is, a, you know, the slightest bit of a response from either Syria or Iran, that's the perfect pretext for what? A what? mini shock and awe against Syria. So well, what sort of response then are you expecting from Syria? It surely can't just choose another conflict, uh, bearing in mind its circumstance at the moment. And Iran, would that really respond militarily to what's happened in Syria with regard to what no, Israel's no, done? Exactly, but that's the point. The, the hardliners in Washington and the hardliners in Israel, they are expecting exactly that, a, a non-measured response from Iran. It's not going to happen. The Iranians might calibrate their response for months from now, in fact, different targets, maybe not even in the Middle East, Israeli interests outside of the Middle East. The Syrians, they are moving some of their missiles to the northern part of Syria. We still don't know what they're going to do so, about okay, it. Okay, but Pepe, just they briefly, cannot... just how dangerous then is this situation now? Is this really a sign of what everybody's it's been worried about? Is the sparking off of a regional conflict, just briefly? Yes. Absolutely. And in fact, uh, this proves, among other things, how desperate this uh, so-called coalition of the willing, U.S., Brits, France, Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Turkey are with what's going on inside Syria. They were expecting the Bashar al-Assad government to collapse in a few months. It's over two years. It's still in place. There are no major defections. You know, they still control the business classes in Damascus and Aleppo. It's still there. It could fight for a long time. And they want a quick resolution. So they use Israel as a proxy. It's the perfect foil, you know, and they can blame Israel, in fact, the Arabs, the Arab League, which nowadays is an annex of NATO, they are blaming Israel. But Saudi Arabia is into it as well, because the US, the Saudis and the Israelis, they are actually arming the rebels as well. They see that it's going nowhere. Okay, let's activate plan B. Let's start bombing Syria and see if they respond. Pepe Escobar, live in London, Asia Times correspondent. Thank you very much indeed for your thoughts on this. Great to get your perspective. Thank Thanks you. for joining us live on RT.